ever wanted to build a touch-sensitive controller? Well, so have I. So let's build one today. There are several different ways to capture a touch input. Some using capacitance, some using a resistive strip between two membranes. But the simplest way I've found is to rely on the fact that the human skin is slightly conductive and can safely conduct a few microamps, which brings us to the method we're going to use. If you have two bare wires, one at plus 12 volts and one connected to ground through a large resistor, you can place your finger across the bare wires and a voltage can be measured across the large resistor. Setting this up on a breadboard looks like this. And you can see as I touch the two bare wires, the voltage across the resistor changes. Now with this basic concept of how a touch controller works has been established, we can turn it into something more useful. So I designed this touch faceplate. The ladder in the middle serves the touch controller. Schematically, it can be represented like this. The resistor ladder provides different voltages depending on where you touch it, giving the controller the value it will use for the CV output. To detect the initial touch on the ladder and turn on and off the gate output, the circuit is reconfigured like this with a large resistor to ground so that an analog to digital converter can detect when it's been touched. This is very similar electrically to the first example. I had grand plans of making this pressure sensitive as well. With how hard you were pushing on the ladder, higher the voltage of a pressure output. However, this didn't work, as I could never get the right value of resistor to allow for an accurate detection of where the ladder was touched and the pressure that was being applied while touching it. So even though you'll see parts of the circuit in this build for pressure sensitivity, that function in the end was not used. If I made this again, I would have a touchpad separate from the ladder for pressure sensitivity. Now that the workings of the faceplate has been covered, let's look at the circuit driving the module. Power comes in here, is regulated down to 5 volts here, three connections to the ladder here. The connections to the top and bottom of the ladder are connected to the microcontroller so that the voltage in either end of the ladder can be plus 5, ground, or high impedance depending on what we're trying to measure. The two resistors that connect to the middle part of the ladder and to the microcontroller for these same reasons. This connection also passes through an op amp and then to one of the analog inputs on the controller. This is how the values of the touch are read. The microcontroller then does some math on the analog value, calculating the corresponding CV output for where the ladder was touched. This CV is then produced by this digital to analog converter. I used a two channel model because I intended to have the pressure of the touch output as well, but that didn't work out. The gate output is generated by the microcontroller here, and that is the circuit schematic. And this is the board laid out for engraving on a single-sided PCB. Now let's build it. First thing is to laser etch the faceplate and the PCB. The PCB has been mirrored so the copper will be on the bottom when it's done. And here they are. Next was to cut the boards down roughly the right size for easier etching. The tarnish was then removed and into the ferric chloride they go. And a few hours later, now with the resist removed, time to drill the holes. Here's a trick, if you put an end mill on a drill press, you can use it to cut small slots by hand or use it to enlarge holes that you might not have the right size drill bit for. The faceplate assembly is easy, just three jacks and the resistor ladder on the back side.
The PCB was straightforward enough to put together as well. With all the jumps on the schematic, no 3Ding of connections on the underside of the board was needed. Since there are so few connections from the faceplate to the PCB, I decided to attach the two with hot glue. Once the glue had hardened, I made the final connections to the PCB and the module was done. After a quick smoke test, I added the chips. And the software to the microcontroller, and this module is complete. Now before I add it to the rack, let me demonstrate the outputs. With CV being on top, and gate being on the bottom. If you touch anywhere along the ladder, the gate output goes high, and depending on where on the ladder you touch, the CV output tracks with it. Higher up the ladder, higher the CV output. Now let's add it to the rack and make some noise. And there you have it, a Eurorack touch controller. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.